Ah, uh, Centurion, the original Chad of Froner. From overpowered on launch to laughably terrible for years, to having his rework take two years to come out, to just to be busted again, and now he's just kind of back to being meh. But you know, I think a lot of set mains like when he's meh, because it takes a lot of skill to play set in the higher ups, and you like winning off a of skill. Remember, this video should not be taken seriously, it's all for jokes. Obviously not everyone will fit a stereotype with a certain helmet and good for you. Nevertheless, let's sh let the show go on, and a huge tank thanks to these guys for making the clips so easy to get. So yeah, let's get this one out of the way. You're 100% a new player who either bought Scent because you watched Jackal Wolfenart Centurion montages, or you've loved the hero since you've locked eyes with him. Or you're an old geezer stuck in the past who wants to revive Scent's glory days. You get on and complain that Scent lost his cutscene at least 5 times a day. To those people, I gotta tell you, just get over it, man. Scent still may be C tier, but he's way more viable than he's ever been. Other than launch day, of course. You probably love Bucket Hat's IRL, and uh, I don't think I've seen a single Scent rock this helmet past rep 1. I guarantee you, if you see a Scent rocking this helmet, he's gonna feed the opponent revenge the moment he just joins that gank. Really? See, this is one of those helmets that gets more variants the higher up the rep, but these variants all just kind of suck. You're mostly using this helmet to make some kind of meme scent, but you're not high enough rep to make a full meme scent. You like the helmet just because it looks like Seth is crying, and I mean, those massive lips, I mean, Jesus Christ. This is just Scent's default helmet, but he hasn't shaved in a year. It's a good early game helmet. This same player definitely thinks he's some sort of team leader because his helmet makes him look like a grizzled veteran. Uh, these guys definitely love spamming team objective quick chats like they're doing something. In reality, you're just being really fucking annoying, dude. Like, I know nobody's at sea. I was going there. Just don't fucking spam ping it, please. I I excuse me? <laughs> you're telling me you run this helmet willingly? Blink, blink twice if you need help. This helmet just makes you look stupid, and you, you probably know that. The eyes in the helmet are literally busted up and non-symmetrical. You're probably doing some Dark Souls 1 Paladin Lugar cosplay with a thorn armor and silver material, but other than that, like... Really? Oh yeah, you're into uh, BDSM. You know those freaks that dress up in black, it's and... And then they... But they also really like... And then they do the... Yeah, those guys. You're trying to rock a rise on a Rome scent, and I can really respect that. But there's always something off about your fashion. Level 3 punch is definitely your favorite move in the game, and you always rock the Roman uppercut execution. Just to really get one last punch in. It's almost just not bad, but I can't lie, the face is just a tad uncanny valley. Oh yeah, you're a, you're a fashion over skill player. Most of your hours are, and steel are spent on customization, art materials, color palettes, ornaments, effects. Yeah, you, you get it. You probably never see this guy in your game because they still aren't ready to queue since they're still figuring out what kind of art material they want to rock with what sort of armor effect. They're, they're never actually playing the game, they're just making a fashion show. Oh, you're a hardcore old school scent. Like, really old school. You remember back in the days where Ranked was in a tournament mode? Yeah, please bring that back. That was so cool and unique. And you queued that most of the time. You loved the Winged Victory Ornament and it hasn't left your head since the day you got it. You're a go-to full Black Iron scent with hints of gold in the armor and a skull somewhere on scent, mostly like his arm. These guys are very good at the game and uh, have mastered scent in their own way. Do not underestimate high rep scent using this helmet. so fucking well! You're definitely doing some sort of Roman general cosplay. Like you run the biggest armor you can to kind of make your scent look like a massive tank. You die before you take off phalanx from your fourth tier feet and you never use it selfishly. These guys are just kind of good support players who only really go for damage when it's guaranteed. These guys definitely just queue with some duo that only plays Yorm as well just to kind of secure the double knockdown. Penis helmet. Yeah, you heard me. Penis helmet. You want to look like a literal dick on the battlefield. You have some odd looking emblem and you probably put it somewhere on your scent, either the cape or the chest, just to make people think, 
What the fuck is this guy doing? You're trying to look stupid. I mean, come on, look at this helmet. Look at it for 10 seconds, and if you don't eventually laugh while looking at those stupid fucking teeth, there's something wrong with you. You probably run this helmet for this exact reason. You just want to look funny. You're hoping the enemy is too busy laughing at your fashion they can't react to your light spam. Okay, I'm gonna get crucified if I don't mention this for this helmet, like how I was being crucified for the Lawbringer video. You love Jackal Wolfenheart. There, I said it. Are you happy? You are 100% hoping that one day he comes back in a massive blaze of glory making more funny meme montages of Centurion, and you rock this helmet in honor of the legacy he made for Scent Mains. If you're somehow watching this, Jackal, thank you for your content. It was a ray of sunshine in a depressing land we call For Honor. You're very unique. Looking at this helmet at first glance, it's just another dog shit variant, but if you really look at it, you begin to kind of admire how smooth everything looks. And that's probably why you're using this helmet. This is mostly run by scents that kind of just stay quiet all game. No help ping, no good fight, no thanks. They're just quietly waiting. They also do this in ganks where they only wait to charge heavy you after you get parried. You claim your fashion is immaculate, but in reality, you're just running the full set in black, iron, or red. Yeah, it's a really good armor set, and the helmet is good too, but you're not the Da Vinci of scent fashion because you put three pieces of the same armor set together with a different armor material. Your goal of the game is to make people look at your fashion all the time, and that's literally it. You don't care if you win or lose, even being executed, you're just looking at your scent fashion going, damn, I look good. Okay, I only really know one person who runs this helmet, and he's a dear friend of mine. So if you're watching this, hi Vincent. If you're running this helmet, you're probably in love with the blood splatter on the eye, and shaped your entire scent to be some bloody battle-torn scent, head to toe in dry blood, wearing white armor material. Yeah, this helmet does exist. It is one of the helmets of all time. Seriously, I sometimes forget this helmet even just kind of exists. It's not bad, but it's just so forgettable. Kind of like every scent that runs this helmet. These guys normally are on your team, and some are dying off on their own. And the last words that come into your mouth before the game ends is, Wait, we got a scent? Oh, there's a lot of things I could say about this helmet. One, being the word I swore to never say again. The other could be you cosplay Red Skull from Marvel or Black Mask from DC. Uh, but I think my favorite one is the Egoist. This is the definition of War Pig of Scent. The overused, overestimated helmet. These guys think that using this helmet makes their fashion the best in lobby when it's just really boring and basic. These guys 100% spam thanks while killing samurai mains and spam the good life emote on them when they kill them. You know the one. In reality, these guys aren't the best sense most of the time, but there's still a select few of you that are actually pretty good at the game. I've never seen this helmet because the shading only works with like the turquoise armor color. Uh, but you know, it's not an awful helmet if you use it. You really love how much his eyes stand out being so blue, and you love walking up really close to people so they can see how blue your eyes really are. You're 100% rolling the full Rapex armor set uh, with behind those blue eyes as an armor effect while you punch people in the face. You really like skulls, but don't want to be that type of scent. You love gold. Gold is just your favorite color in every game. Gold camo and cod, gold skin in siege, and gold armor material in fraudern. You're most likely running the full set because the armor has these hints of red that only match when you use the full set. Other than that, you probably run all of scent's really, 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 really long executions where he beats the shit out of you with glowing eyes as your armor effect. All right, that has uh, been synth helmet stereotypes and uh, another night noun. Another what? Another night down. Leave a comment on what night I should definitely do next. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.